Hello everyone, my name is Anish Rana and you are watching Kubernetes web series. This video is for CKAD part 5. So let's start with without wasting a single minute. There is one question where you need to apply the context. A docker file is already created on this directory. So you need to open this file. You need to create a build an image with the name Ubuntu Apache. Okay, so we need to create one image with this name and tag it to 3.0 from this docker file. You may need to use any tool of your choice. Next task is using the tool of your choice, export the built container image in OC format and store it on this dot tar format. Third task is create a pod name Apache pod 1 from a newly created image and bind Apache port 80 with the 4080 port number. In this question, we need to complete three tasks 1, 2, and 3. The very first one is we need to create an image from this Docker file here. Before that, first we use the correct context. After that, we can go to cd slash data dir. This is what it is mentioned here. After that, we can get this file. We'll observe some different file here. So I'm just giving you one example here. I'm just using this thing only. After that, you can use sudo, or if you're having a root prompt, don't need to use sudo. Docker built minus t is for tag Ubuntu Apache colon 3.0 and dot is for current working directory here. Built minus t is for tag. Once you execute this command, you will observe this output here. Now in the first task, it is asked us to tag. Here you use tag 3.0. So whenever you will observe this type of information, tag 3.0 or something, tag means colon, here it is colon 3.0. Whatever the number it is mentioned, 3.5, 7.6, whatever, just use semicolon and dot is for current working directory and it will use docker file name only post check is always required we can use docker image ls we should observe ubuntu apache this is what we are observing here and the tag is 3.0 and the image id is this one this is what it is mentioned here now for the second task it is asked us to use Ubuntu Apache 3.0.tar file in OC format. How we can do it? It's a simple command docker save and the image name and append to the mentioned file. That's it. Docker save is the command which will save the image. I hope it is clear now. It is very easy. The third task is we need to create a pod with this name from a newly created image and bind port 80 with 34080 port number. How we can do it? Just use docker run minus d for detach i insert terminal hyphen hyphen name the name of the pod sorry the name of the container would be here I need to use container. You need to create a container name apache this one from a newly created image here so we use Docker run and the container name is this minus p. This is my host machine and this is my application port number. And in the end, we will use the image. In Kubernetes, we always use you know hyphen hyphen image, but for the Docker, we don't use hyphen hyphen. That's it. These are the three commands you need to execute here: first one, second one, and third. Your question is completed. And it says Ubuntu Apache. So in the first question, it is mentioned that you have to create a image and the tag is this. This is what I have done here. That's it. When you execute, it will be created like this. Observe this output. Not this output, but similar output like this. You can also view Docker PS for the post checks. You will observe that your container is created here. And this is the port number. You can also execute docker container inspect and container name grep minus 
I port number, you will observe the port number here. So as you can see that host port is 34080. This is what it is here. That's it. The first question is completed here successfully. Let's move to second question. KubeCTL, in this question, you need, there is a one deployment. The name of deployment is this one is already running under namespace NS quota one. You need to set the resource request memory half of the maximum memory assigned to the namespace. When it says maximum memory, it means it it is referring to limit, not request, because it is maximum memory assigned. Maximum memory assigned means limit. This is the maximum limit, right? Let's go to the lab and perform first and second question. I have already logged in into my GitHub page here. Here you need to click on CKAD. After that, click on dumps six, click on lab. First, you need to create the lab copy. And here I'm using 1.29.5. This is my version. You just need to copy. That's it like this way. Now let's proceed for the first question here. You need to create the container here. So I need to create. I'm not sure whether I have created this directory already or not. OK, I need to add in the lab. Don't worry. Now I need to create a Docker file here. I have forget to add here, but yes. Now there is one file here. We can use docat. We know that we can create the image from the Docker file with the help of using build command. Minus T is for tag. In the question, it is asked tag 3.0. Copy and paste it over here. Dot means current working directory, and it will pick Docker file automatically. It takes some time. Let's wait. Now it is completed here. Clear the window. Examiner asked us to create a dot tar file from this image. We know that we can use docker save command here. Copy. I'm already in the hash form, so I'm not using sudo. In the exam, if you observe dollar prompt, then you can use sudo if it's giving you error messages. It says that directory is not created here, but I will make sure that I will update. Now I will execute this command again. Now it is also completed here for the post checks. You can do it like this one. Yes, this file is created here. Also, we can execute Docker image ls. I should see the newly created image here. Open to Apache 3.0. That was created two minutes before. That's great here. But I have mentioned here post X for task two and for task three, create a port name. It should be container. Forgive me for this. Docker run minus D minus IT minus hyphen hyphen name. The name of the port container. This is the container name. Minus P 34,080 and then 80. Port number is Apache port number is 80. With 34,080 port number here. That's it. Press enter. After that, we can execute this command docker ps. I should see my newly container is working fine. I can inspect also. It is not necessary, but for the practice, you can do it for the exam. Okay, now we have completed the first question here. The second question is once again, I'm explaining this question. There is one deployment. The name of the deployment is here. It is currently running under the namespace. This one you need to set resource request memory half of the maximum memory. Maximum memory means limit. Whatever the limit for memory is set, we need to cut half in the and set in the deployment. First, we need to use the, this context here. Let me use this context. After that, we can also check the resource quota. When it says maximum memory assigned to the namespace, it means that examiner already created the resource quota at the namespace level. How we can check the resource quota? I have already uploaded one video. If you have any doubt, you can watch that video. I will add the link in the description of this video. Don't worry. It says where is the memory? Memory is here. Limit memory 2 gig. It means that we need to add 1 gig memory. First check the deployment is running or not. Let's check the deployment. 
yes deployment is already running and it is 1.1 it means there is one pod inside this deployment we can check the status validate if memory quota is already set or not nothing is coming from mems okay now in exam we know that there is a limit of time for that reason what we can do here we can directly edit this deployment whenever you observe resource request just go to the kubernetes.io web page here click on documentation and paste it over here resource quota at namespace that's it resource quota namespace you need to open this link scroll down in the port section you will see that resource limit and memory in this question we have been asked only create memory not for cpu thus i'm just going to use these three information and here inside this container we have name indentation right name image resources this resources is same indentation of image this is what we need to remember copy here now edit this deployment directly scroll down and here you will observe in container section anywhere you can add but the indentation should be same like this one press enter limits do it very carefully inside this limit we have memory it is says mi in the kubernetes it is mi means megabyte but we need to add 1 gig 1 g capital i small that's it how we can check here if you have any doubt you can use scroll up you will observe one capital g and i like this okay the same way i have mentioned here inside the double code it says edited in the container section resource limit memory is 1 gig here this is what it is mentioned here how we can check first we need to identifying that our deployment is running or not sometime it happens that when we edit it failed the container but this is not the case for us because we did it right and when i'm executing the same command again minus i mem i should see one gig here this is what it is mentioned here you can ignore this warning just focus on this one now we have completed the second question also and in the second question if it asks us to add the cpu also then use the cpu request is here limit is here i have already explained let's move to third question in the third question it is asked us there is a one deployment security deployment is running under namespace this one okay you need to set the security context whenever you observe the security context user with 1000 1000 and forward allow privilege escalation just copy here security context what is security context security context is we used enhance the security it means that we just bind with some user id or group id whenever we execute any command or create any file that process id will be attached to that process i will show you in a couple of minute now there is a one pod here but in the exam it is asked us for the deployment use the right context copy and paste this context is not available here but for the practice purpose i am just pasting over here i will observe the error but you will not in the exam pre checks check the deployment is the given namespace is there let's check yes deployment is there and two ports are running okay validate security context again we can use get deployment minus o grep minus i security context and paste it over here security context is l we can directly edit this deployment with the help of edit command op and paste over here shift g at the end and you will observe this security context here you need to delete this line and after that press o after the spec section and before the container now here you will observe the security context is here copy enter 
and run as user 1000 this is what it is mentioned in the question security context user with 1000 and the next part is forbid it means false allow privilege escalation it is also mentioned in this code manifest file security context allow privilege escalation equal to false but Please bear in mind that this security context is an indentation of container section, volume and security context. But this security context is inside this container indentation. We have to respect this indentation and add here. Press enter, backspace, paste, enter and copy this line also. Now this security context is in outside of the container and but this security context is inside this here and please bear in mind also one more point here that you need to delete the security context line what I deleted before if you add it over here you will observe error messages for that reason I deleted the first line of the security context and then add it here save and quit the same thing I have already mentioned here. You need to add this thing here. Post checks, check the deployments are still running or not. Yes, both ports are running. And also, we can execute. This is my second post check. Check the security contact. The first one is showing here escalation false. That's great. And security contacts run as user 1000. In exam, if it's asked us, for run as group you can copy this line here and if it's asked us to add file system group then you can add here this line also the same way also I would like to show you one thing here if I execute this command edit here and if I scroll down we will observe that we have added security context here but once we save it set here but don't add here if you add here it will give you error message I have already observed in this way my third question is also completed if you go to any insured they will ask you at least five to ten thousand rupees for these questions but here I am uploading all these questions are free if you want me to support you can click here and click on thanks button and here you can whatever you want but yes if you clear your CK AD exam, then only you can send me some money. It's free of course, obviously, but yes, you can support me with this way. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues. It will help them 